hey guys i am just gonna continue on with a bunch of my other edits because uh, i was having fun just rambling on um so my face hurts and it hurt real bad right now because i haven't taken a break all day and that sucks for me so um we're gonna continue on but if i'm dying tomorrow we all know why um yeah so i look like a squirrel right now the huge ass puffy cheeks oh well um i'm still gonna whisper to you all because i think you guys like it instead of me talking like my normal self i am a very loud talker i am so sorry to people who have headphones in on a daily basis you probably thought this was gonna be asmr but it's really not and i i normally do talk really loud and i am so sorry for every human being that has to deal with me in real life um yeah um what else are we gonna talk about in this one? Oh, cuffing season guys can't let me down on this one y'all decide you all feel like you need a boyfriend application i don't know why you all think this i somehow turned from crazy shit my grandma has done crazy shit my mother has done to now let's get into our interesting dating life because i have nothing better to do <laughs> i am lonely guys it's okay it's okay we know we you know we're lonely so it's okay um so i am very lonely i am that kind of person that is more of a simp than anything else if i find somebody i like and if i like you you are everything in my world and i am so sorry i am already apologizing because i already know that I, you're gonna be everything and yeah um i'm that kind of person that like thrives off of humans so i thrive off of interesting things that's why i need you a little bit broken a little bit of backstories a little bit of something to you because if you're normal my my energy is like yeah <laughs> he's normal <laughs> and we can't do that because we need content for this podcast um so apparently y'all want a boyfriend application because y'all been asking what i'm interested in and so far if you haven't already gotten from all my other podcasts we like them a little bit broken i'm gonna get that on a t-shirt i like them a little bit broken <laughs> you know what first merch just kidding i'm kidding guys you don't i'm just kidding okay um we all know he has to be a little bit redneck because if he, if he's expecting bougie out of me we aren't getting anywhere near bougie because we uh buy everything used and we rag about it so yes the day i buy a brand new thing that costs more than ten dollars is the day i advertise it okay guys that is my story of my life right there um has to be more mature than an average boy my age if you if you are my age i i don't click with guys my age very well either unless they're more mature because i'm very mature for my age as you can tell i just explained to you in the other podcast that i don't do anything in my life that interesting so yeah my mom literally pushed me to get a job because i didn't want to go and deal with people and i know that going out and dealing with people involves me talking to them and involves me interacting with people <laughs> so i didn't want to do it and my mom pushed me to it and now she has to hear the horrible stories about what other people <laughs> what her life could be compared to what it is and she should be grateful for having me as a kid yeah so here are some of the things that i put on my list in front of me for thingies i look for in a dude and yes i just used the word thingies and you know what i'm gonna use it because this is my podcast and that is a hint if somebody from work is listening that is an inside joke from work i am sorry um 
what I look for is a little bit fit because I'm that kind of bitch. Um, also will eat junk food with me because I am the fattest human being on the planet. Um, understands the business world because, well, that's literally my life and I've always done business and yeah, um, is a little bit taller than me because I'm done with the short ass boys things. Oh my God. It's a real problem. Um, I had something for his mom, like, or women in his life. I don't care if you have a girlfriend, friend, by the way, um, just treat her nice. <laughs> Literally just treat people nice. That is something I am now looking for. <laughs> and then, um, have some sort of future plan. Because I don't know what I'm going to do with my life. And if you don't know what you're going to do with your life either, then buddy, we are going to be one confused fucked up mess. <laughs> And then, um, have to have a crackhead personality when we're together because I have a personality that's through the roof when I get to know somebody. And if you're boring, this could not, that doesn't work out. Um, have to be in Michigan. You don't have to be once I, like, you know, decide to figure out my life. But for now, be in Michigan. And, uh, Hopefully not in like five mile five mile radius because that is terrifying if you're that close. <laughs> and then in not a five hour distance because I don't feel like driving five hours. So you'll hear about my driving skills in the next podcast. It's not really great either. <laughs> so the, my single pringle madness has led me to many many weird dating things like dating apps and uh, yeah those get boring people get boring (laughs) i never thought being complimented so much would be so boring (laughs) i love when i slide into guys dms and i'm like just give me the best dad joke you've ever heard and they're like uh i don't know then move on i don't want to deal with you I I am definitely one of those people that you have to have a okay personality for me at least to talk to you. I I don't know why I am, I've, yeah. Um. Uh. So, because y'all wanted to know that, and I didn't know how I was gonna fill this into fifteen minutes of me talking about my single life. Um. We are going to talk about things that I googled just so I can fill this in. Um, cute dates that I would go on with any poor human being. <laughs> or just adventures. I love freaking adventures. If you want to go on adventures with me, yes, we can do our own little adventure book. Guys, that would be the cutest little thing on the planet. Um... I am one of those people that I, I'm not, I'm very low maintenance compared to anyone I feel like. I literally will just sit in your car and eat fast food with you and that, I would consider that the greatest day in the world. If I don't have to dress up and look cute, just wear my sweatpants and chit chat with you, complete, life's complete. But the, my, one of my favorite dates that I, if I ever had a a chance in my life if I ever have a chance to go on a date I want to go to Lake Michigan and have a picnic wouldn't that be fun probably just to me but you know I freaking love Lake Michigan and everything about it so yeah and everyone usually knows that so I also own like 50,000 Lake Michigan sweatshirts so if anyone doesn't know I'm from Michigan I'm from Michigan guys (laughs) yeah I hope that was sexy in your ears. Um, I also, I want him to do podcasts with me. Is that really weird? I I don't know if that's weird or not. So, um, yeah, let's bring in my weirdness onto the pod. You probably, you guys will probably think I'm single for my entire life before I even end up with a dude. Or you guys are going to become like my best friends. So you're going to hear my whole life and then I'll end up telling you details about the poor guy and he's gonna hear about it and I'm gonna be like yeah you know what 
you know what? Nah, psh, you didn't hear it. <laughs> um. So I also this is a this is something I googled. Um, how to tell if someone's into you according to science? Because my ass loves science and psychology, so I feel like that. I should be able to tell everyone about the ways people find you attractive according to science. Um, yeah. And I probably should not be qualified enough to tell you all. But, you know what? We'll do it anyways. Um, I... Got for number one. <laughs> I'm sorry. I opened my phone and now I'm distracted and it's not going as well as I thought it was. Um, pupils. I spelled pupils like pupils, by the way. I didn't realize I did that, but pupils, dilated, and glossy. That is the most biggest indicator on a dude ever. They'll all lie to you, straightforward, but the eyes never do. Um, when he starts getting protective, I've seen this many times, but I've also have guy friends who are just straight up protective of me anyways, because they know the shitty ass people that I get myself into. So yeah, um, uh, number three, uh, what? Sorry, I gotta read this. And I I clearly have so bad of handwriting. Who let me do this? Um, What is it like when they're around their friends compared to, it, compared to what they are around you? So are they more friendly around you? They are way nicer to you than they like you. If you they treat you like one of the boys, hell yeah, you're one of the boys. L- Welcome to the club. Um... If he gets mad at any time you bring up a dude, or any time, even if it's a guy friend, even if it's, like, your brother, <laughs> he's into you. And he's on to another phase, because I have never seen a guy get mad over me talking about my guy friends. But, they've also met them. So, and we all know how my guy friends are. They're like brothers. <laughs> oh my gosh. Speaking of my brothers, um... One of them is into a new girl, and I'm afraid that she's going to be crazy. Because a lot he has a bad taste in girls. Bad taste. And I don't want his ass hurt again. So, yeah, I had to deal with that today. That was interesting. And who knew? Who knew people? Who knew people, um we're into the like the weird girls i'm just kidding (laughs) you know like the kind of broken girls you're just like why how 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 does that add up yeah um sorry i'm still scrolling on tiktok (laughs) can you tell i ended up with like nothing else to talk about so i'm just gonna end it here guys bye